This is my newest line of fabric from Henry Glass. It is called Be Humble. It is flannel, premium flannel, and a line of wool with it. And this is the quilt that I've made with that. It is um, all hand applique, um, a lot of embellishing stitches. But it is a block of the month. It's a six month series. And here's the pattern for that. If you want to zoom in on the that. Patterns are color printed. Uh, they're divided in sections for easily to be separated into monthly sections for shops to, to make into monthly kits for the block of the months. Uh, we also have a nice Wonderfill uh, thread pack, a matching little designer box that Wonderfill made for us. And the wool is really great. It uh, felts up very nice, and we sell bundles, and very nice add on sale for. Uh, uh, for the wool line. There are two free patterns on the Henry Glass website that uses both the flannels and the wool, so those are also available. Seems like everyone likes bees and sunflowers, so pay a little tribute to them. All right, so this is uh, called um, Christmas Berries, and it was actually on the cover of one of the magazines back in December. American Quilter. I'm um, trying to see. What else do you see? This is one of our best sellers. That's called Farmhouse Fall Pillow. Vicki likes to do a lot of wool applique on uh, traditional patterns. So she likes to take uh, um, you know, traditional designs, make them easier and more modern, up to date to, uh, to, for quick sewing. And then likes to add touches of wool applique to, to bring them to life. This is, I guess we better look at these too. This is something new that we have this time. These are um, just little wool gingerbread ornaments. Kind of fun. Can sit down and, and stitch out in, in an evening. Um, this is another one of our best sellers. That is called Autumn Wool Basket. And as you can see, this is also a flannel with wool applique. So I do, I do like to uh, embellish with wool with my appliques. Um, this one is, there's no wool in this one. That one is a jelly roll friendly, just a table runner. We have several stitch alongs we have going on and all of those are different ones that are in, pro in the process right now. Um, this is one that is in, that's actually a stitch along that's in going on right now also. Oh. This is one we have that's going on right now too. This is called Henry Glass Flannel. Dog Days, and this is the Henry Glass Flannel that I designed. From the Be Humble line. Yes, from Be Humble. Lots of adorable little stitches on there. We call that Dog Days, a woolly summer. So these are other things. Um, this is a new one that I brought to market. That one is Homespun with wool applique. This one is actually die cut. We actually die cut those and applied the soft fuse fusible to the back of that one. That's actually one that's, that's going on right now. It's called Kitchen Stitching. This one was on the cover of Quilt Sampler 2018, the front cover of the magazine. So yeah, kind of fun. Vicki's had a quilt shop for over 20 years and she's been doing her own designs the past seven years. We've been on the road traveling all over the country doing uh, classes and shows and quilt guilds. We're happy to join the Henry Glass team about a year and a half ago and uh, we're looking forward to many more lines with them. So this is a um, sewing machine cover and you can adjust it to fit what you what your machine but this is just toweling. This is already laser cut and ready to fuse down. Add your prairie points and hem the top and the bottom and that's good to go. Another one that's laser cut and pre-fused just coming in and meeting everybody, the networking with everybody. You just meet friends that you'll contact and, and talk to about um, different things that are going on and get different little stitch alongs going on. And it's just a lot of fun to be around the whole industry. Just do what you love and enjoy it. And then uh, when Vicki first, when we first got married, Vicki took a lot of quilting classes and her mom used to say, why do you take this? You, you know how to sew. And Vicki is like, if I could just take a class and learn one thing that makes me a little faster or better or a new technique, I just want to learn more. And uh, so over the years, just that all kind of grew and grew and just, just try it and, 
uh, so many people say, oh, I can't do that, but just a little practice and try, um, it, uh, it always seems to work out. Yeah, I was taught by my grandmother, so I've been quilting since I've been about 10, so we'll just say well over 40 years now. So, <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, you anyone can do this. Like you said, it just takes a little bit of practice. There's so many YouTube videos out there. I have a YouTube channel that I show you how I do all this handwork. So I mean, you just got to have the want to. Uh, our website is calicopatchdesigns.com and then our handles for YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all the popular social medias is at calicopatchdesigns. <laughs>